We're back in the kitchen with the Bahama Barbie King. We're whipping up a pan-seared peppercorn steak with coconut cassava. Come join us. Welcome back to Chef It Up, everyone. I'm your host, Ianthea Smith. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen once again. And I have with me the Bahama Barbie King. Welcome back. Thank you. Great to be back again. And what do we have on the menu today? Because you always come with like some real <laughs> multi tiered dishes. What are we eating today? All right, so basically today we're going to do a pan set peppercorn steak. And um, we're going to accompany that with some coconut cassava. Uh, we're going to have a tropical saute spinach. Okay. And then we're going to garnish it with some native Kalik Rattler onion rings. Whenever we get to cook with wine or beer, I know that this is going to be good, right? Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> so, you got to have it. <laughs> so where do we start? All right. So first off, we're going to season our steak. Uh-huh. So this was already lightly pounded uh -huh. to ensure the tenderizing. And what kind of steak are we using? What kind of the steak are we using uh, today? This is a sirloin steak we're using today. Um, it's a little more, it's not as tender as the tenderloin, but once cooked to perfection, it could be tender okay, as well. Okay, good. All right, so we're going to take our special blend, and we're just going to season both sides. Lightly seasoning yes. uh, the steak here. Definitely. Flip it when it gets both sides. And tell us what's in this special blend of uh, uh, seasoning we're using. All right, it's a basic one I put together today. Just some garlic powder, onion powder, paprika. We have some fresh thyme, a uh, touch of salt, and a little cilantro. Okay. So easy, you can easily make it at home. And you could basically put this on anything. Steak, fish, vegetables. You know, even if you want to put a little bit in your rice. Nice. Now, what we're going to do, um, we're mm -hmm. going to take our peppercorns, our black peppercorns. This is it in the raw state. Tell us exactly what this is. Oh, uh, well, this is a, you know, you have a black pepper in the, Pepper shaker, uh -huh. but this is the actual pure version of it. Okay. It's the peppercorn seeds. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna give it a blend inside our outside our meat grinder. Okay. But we're not gonna do it too fine, as fine as black pepper. We're gonna do it like a little, almost like a rough chop, so you okay. can see the actual peppercorns when we align it on the steak. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. So. Wash my hands and so cool. what you do is you just like you say you just take these and you put these in the. Yes. Yeah, so once you put it right inside our coffee grinder. Uh huh. And so we just give it a good pulse. Actually, we put all in. Okay. And that's just to chop them down just a little bit more, like yeah, you say, to get so a rough it's cut. Yeah, so it be edible because you wouldn't be able to eat it in the form it is now. Yeah, and then you don't want it as fine as uh, black pepper you say. Yeah, because you okay. eat it like that, you may probably lose a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> so we just that. like about five seconds. Uh-huh. There you go. Okay. I see what you say. And you can see it's, it's, it has a powdered form, yes. but it also has the Looks chunks like of soil. peppercorn <laughs> still inside it. <laughs> Looks like soil. Yeah, and basically we want to take this, and you only want to put it on one side. Mm -hmm. We want to put it on the presentation side. Okay. Pot it in. And what kind of flavors, uh, I mean, why did you decide to, decide to go with the, the peppercorn? But the pepper, black pepper is the best type of pepper to use in terms of using steak. If you had like white pepper, it'd be better if you're using like seafood. Okay. But in terms of lamb, tenderloin, and um, um, porks, it would be best to use the black peppercorn because the flavor accompanies the gamey texture of the meat. Okay, awesome. All right, so we're going to put our steak aside, let All it right. marinate. Just going to let this sit and soak for a minute. And where do we go to next? All right, what are we going to do? I'm going to make a quick sauce for it. Now, the sauce for this one is going to be a citrus Hennessy glaze. A what? <laughs> citrus Hennessy glaze. Okay, how so do we make this? What we're going to do first, you're going to caramelize some purple onions. Uh huh. I decided to use the purple onions because they're slightly sweeter in flavor than the regular onions. Okay. So it would go much better on the steak. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to add a um, little bit of garlic butter. Uh -huh. Not too much, just a pinch. Nice. Um, we have some julienne purple onions. We're going to add inside of it. All right, so some garlic butter, some purple onions. I think mm -hmm. you're going to make everybody's day today, yeah. showing them how to make uh, the sauce. Yeah, well, I'm trying to make everybody's week. <laughs> All the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, what you want to do, you want to allow these onions to caramelize uh -huh. a little bit. And how do we know when they're perfectly caramelized? Well, you'll see it starts to shrink and they become more soft. Mm -hmm. Like right now, it's firm. 
but they've started um, to become more translucent in appearance and become a little more sore. And as you know, the, the sugars are being released mm -hmm. from it. So once you see that starts to happen, then we're going to add a little bit of cognac or uh, Hennessy, what everybody should So what was the inspiration with. behind the sauce? Well, I like to try and use ingredients that I know are Bahamian favorites. I know Hennessy is definitely one of the more popular drinks yeah. amongst us. Uh, a lot of young Bahamians, I know the Bahamians too. So we just want to offset it with a little taste of the cognac to give it to take a little more enriched flavor. Nice. All right. So of course, you guys are in this pot. We just put a little bit of garlic butter, and then we're just caramelizing now um, our purple onions right. for this Hennessy sauce that we got going on here. Right, and that's so it there. Now, yep. We're gonna add that in. Oh, is that a shot? <laughs> oh yeah, one shot. Just and then a shot. Flambe it. Woo! We're gonna let that alcohol burn off. Awesome. And tell us the purpose of doing the flambe. So what you want to do when you flambe, you're actually burning off the alcohol content of it. Mm -hmm. So after you burn off the alcohol, then you just have to flavor the alcohol. Okay. So it wouldn't be a situation where you have to worry about when the sauce is going to make me drunk, you know? So <laughs> you're just going to get the, the natural flavors from it. And what's this? Uh, this is our jerk barbecue. Our jerk barbecue, okay. So, so perfect sign combination. Yeah, signature championship jerk barbecue. Yes, you 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 enter a lot of those barbecue competitions around town, right? Yes, we have. Uh, and what what have you won? Which of them have you won? Well, we have won the first barbecue competition that they had, the first annual Cattleman's Barbecue Competition. Uh, we were the, declared the grand champions of the first one. Was this the one at Green Park one yeah, time? Yeah, that's oh, the okay. one we had at Green Park. Yeah, yeah. And we're gonna add some citrus to this. Okay. Fresh orange juice. Nice. And what you would want to do too? I'm gonna chop a little fresh cilantro. What a good mix though of that Hennessy with the onions, the barbecue mm. sauce, and now some the orange first. juice. And I'm super finish. excited to see how this is gonna come out. This smells really good. Yeah, you're gonna put some fresh oh, cilantro in there. We're we'll gonna toss and we're just gonna let this simmer. Uh -huh. And after you finish pan searing our steak, we're just gonna put this over it, give it a glaze, and let it finish caramelizing inside uh -huh. the oven. But back to your original question though, like I said, we are the, the, yes. clear, the grand champions of the, All the first, awards. <laughs> first annual Cattleman's Barbecue Competition uh -huh. in Green Park. Uh, we were the reserve grand champions of the Cattleman's Barbecue Competition, the regional competition in Puerto Rico. Yes. Uh, we also are grand champion winners of the Bahamas Well in the Fire Barbecue Competition. And the following year, we were reserve grand champions for that as well. So we try nice. to make a statement every time we go to the barbecue competitions, <laughs> off show everybody the flavors we have Boy, to offer. Boy, them competitions try to come is getting intense, new. though. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does be going off. It's fun <laughs> intensity, though. It's, it's good humor, good fun, and it helps you to enhance your skills. Yeah. You know, okay. You bet every time we think you have a good flavor, there's always somebody there who might get edge you out. So uh -huh. you tend to go back to the drawing board and see ways that you could enhance yourself, enhance your flavor. And, Come up with a new item for the customers nice. when you go back into the competition again. So you're gonna join more competitions this yeah, year? Yeah, definitely, definitely. We're gonna join maybe a few more and then what I really would like to do is just build a team and train a team and I would mm -hmm. let them enter and let them carry on the barbecuing barbecue name a little further than from inception from where we started. Nice, all right. And of course our Hennessy sauce here is thickening. That's what yeah, you want, right? Yeah, it's gonna thicken. Uh, we could actually turn this off for now. We all can take right. this off the heat. So what do we do next? Okay, we're going to get ready to pan sear our steak. Okay, you want that back on? Yep. Okay. That's good? Mm. All right, so time now uh, to get our hmm. uh, pan seared peppercorn hmm. steak. And of course, um, as you know, we're using a sirloin, you say, right? Yes, one, yes And so we just pre uh, season this down with our special blend, mm -hmm. some onion powder, garlic powder. Um, and of course, we grinded our Peppercorn, yeah, just to pepper just to a finer consistency, not as fine as black pepper, but then not as thick as the original version either. So, all right. So what we're gonna do while this is heating up, uh -huh. I'm gonna start the coconut cassava. Okay. So by the time as we ready set this on, then mm -hmm. we'll be ready to serve our steaks. Mm -hmm. So you wanna peel off that rough husk off the off the cassava. Can you find cassava easily in town? Yeah, man. You could go to any food store. I see meat marks. I feel like and I don't super see value. a lot of it. <laughs> yeah, right in any produce section, meat marks, uh, super value, cost right, okay. solvents. Yeah, it's pretty much easy to find. But there's, there's a lot of different ways you could prepare it. Yeah, a lot of uses for cassava. Yeah, well, one of our previous dishes we did it as a chip, but today we're actually going to do it as a starch for the dish. Okay. And let it simmer down in some coconut milk, uh -huh. and a little bit of avocado coconut rum, some of the blend of the seasoning. 
So we're using all kind of yeah, all kind of spirits inside yeah, <laughs> this dish today. Some Hennessy, we got some Radler, we got some coconut rum. Kind of liking this. All right, so we're gonna rest these right in this pot here. Okay. Do you need that? Okay, that's already yeah, on. Yeah, we have that on. Yeah. And we're gonna add our coconut milk. Okay. And, and then, so how do these two flavors, the coconut and the cassava, how do you how do you see them going well oh, together? Oh, it's awesome, man. It's awesome because cassava has a tendency to be sort of bland. So with the addition of the coconut milk and the coconut rum, uh -huh. it's going to really take the flavor to another level. And it's going to create an interesting blend. Okay. And also you want to just rough chop just a little more cilantro. Mm-hmm. I love cilantro, especially in like some jasmine rice. Yeah, cilantro. That's actually my favorite herb. Yeah. And then we're going to take some fresh thyme. Yeah, I like some fresh thyme, boy. Oh, trust me. Any old school <laughs> Bahamian know about this fresh thyme in every pot. <laughs> in every single dish, everything, right? And then we're going to add a little bit of our seasoning blend. Okay. And this looks pretty easy to do too. Yeah, As you can see, easy. we just put all of the ingredients in one pot and we're just going to let that simmer down, right? Yeah, we're going to simmer that down. So by the time as we finish pan searing our steak and prepping for the uh -huh. onion rings, then that will be ready to go. So we're just going to cut it down a bit, let it simmer. Okay. And now Perfect. we're going to be ready for our steak. Yes, our peppercorn steak. All right, so we're going to use a little bit of the garlic butter again. And I see that you use that a lot in your pot as opposed to using oil. Why is that? Honestly, I really like to use it because it enhances the flavor yes. also. Because you no know, oil, olive oil is more healthy. Uh -huh. But um, you know, sometimes we like to add a little more flavor, a little enhancement yeah. to our, our food. So um, with the garlic butter, you have the intensity of the garlic, the cilantro, a little bit of seasoning, and the butter tends to give a little more flavor to also to the meat. All right. So, so we're going to use the peppercorn side first that's going to be our presentation side so you can put all that right down you guys first. our dish is going we are making a pan seared peppercorn steak with a coconut cassava this is chef it up we'll be right back welcome back to chef it up everyone the barbie king is going at it making our pan seared peppercorn steak with our coconut cassava and so before we went to the break you guys you saw us we just Toss it in the pan, yep. let that sear it for a bit, and now you're gonna to toss it in the oven, yeah, right? Yeah, we're gonna put it in the oven, because this is a thin steak, so mm -hmm. we're gonna put it in the oven for about seven minutes, because it's already almost done. Uh -huh. And we're gonna have it on a low heat, about 300 degrees, so it doesn't overcook. Okay. And we're just gonna pop it straight right. in there. And of course, in the front here, our coconut cassava, um, they're still simmering. Of course, we just <laughs> chopped up some cassava, we put it inside this pan with some Coconut milk, some coconut rum, um, our little mix of uh, thyme, seasoning, some fresh thyme, and some cilantro. All right, All that's right. almost ready. And how long do these take? Uh, uh, I'll take about 10 minutes the most. And you just want, what kind of consistency are you going for? Uh, you want it to be soft without mushy. You want okay. to be able to be able to cut through it with a fork. Mm. But you're not going without mashed potato flavor from okay. feel. You want it to be still have that nice firm. Like you a want it to hold the circle kinda? for presentation. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. All right, so what we're going to do next, we're going to start our butter uh -huh. for the onion rings. And what kind of onion rings? Tell them what kind okay, of onion rings you're making again. We are going to be again. doing a Click Rattler onion ring today. <laughs> All right. All right, so basically what you want to do, I'm going to let you start it off for me. Okay. Okay, we have the whisk here. Mm -hmm. And you're going to sprinkle just a little bit of baking powder inside it. Okay. And this is just flour, right? Yeah, this is plain flour. Okay. We're going to add a little bit of the mix, all-purpose mix. All right, and then I'm going to let you whisk as I start to pour the rattler inside All there. All right. So many uses for bear, eh? Yeah, man. <laughs> 101. <laughs> really? Is that true? thousand away <laughs> <laughs> all right so you can start whisking that to incorporate the flour and the baking powder through it okay all right all right and then we're gonna pour that rattler in look at that oh yeah that thickens real quickly now how did you think and to put rattler but rattler has i like the flavor of rattler rattler is nice and refreshing and adding it in addition to the onion rings Gives it an extra crisp because mm -hmm. of the alcohol and the hops inside it. It's going to have an extra crisp with a, citri a citric um, crust at the end uh -huh. of it. And so could you use any other bear or you just prefer to go yeah, with Yeah, you could use any other bear. Any bear other than Guinness. Guinness probably be a little bit too heavy. Too so heavy, you, want, huh? you prefer to use like a light bear. And if you want to do this without alcohol, you could use club soda to go oh, with okay, it. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. 
So, so the kids could enjoy. Yeah, so the kids <laughs> could eat it, exactly. So while you're getting that ready, I'm gonna prep our onion so we could start frying the onion rings. All right. And so I just mix, and mix until it's all... Yeah, and you want to get like a pancake consistency. Oh, awesome. You can smell the rattler in it too yes. as you mix it. All right, and so I'm just mixing, guys, as you know, uh, the batter for our rattler um, onion rings as you chop them down over there. These cassava, they, they're looking really good. Awesome. All right, so all right I think we got our little pancake. All right, so we'll test. It's a little thicker we'll, then, but is that fine? Yeah, that's good. Okay, so I mean a little gonna, thinner then. We're going to test the first one. Okay. I'm going to make sure I submerge it. I'm basically going to drop it right inside the hot oil. Ah. But you don't want to let it, you don't want to just drop it in because mm -hmm. it, it would stick to the bottom. So you let it, you hold it up for a few seconds and then let it go. So okay. it'll be on the flow. So and as you can see, the bears, I mean, the rattler is now reacting. It's now starting to puff up. I see that. Almost like a corn dog effect. Uh, we let this go for about three to five minutes okay. until it's nicely golden brown. And they smell really good. Let me let mm. you get there. And I noticed that you used uh, the thicker chop, the thicker chop um, of the onion. Why was that? Yeah, so to give the onion ring a little bit more body. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't want to do it for this particular one, because it has a coat, you don't want to do it too small because it will tend to be sort of like mushy uh -huh. when you do it. So you want to give it a nice, um, healthy thick body on this one and also for presentation wise too okay and so our click rattler onion rings are going over here we have um, our coconut cassava these are still uh, I see this is getting really thick here yeah. that, that coconut milk is thickening yeah and the starch, beautifully. The starch from the cassava is also yes. starting to thicken up the sauce Oh, yes. see, they look really good. And of course, our peppercorn, uh, yeah, pan seared peppercorn steak is in ready. the oven. Now, who would you, like, where would, who would you suggest this this meal be made for? Like a date or? Well, maybe it's just... really good for a date, um, <laughs> um, a meal for two. Um, all this rum. <laughs> <laughs> all this rum in there, yeah, of course. Rum. <laughs> <laughs> a meal for two is pretty good. Um, it goes well um, with, with seafood also. You probably might want to put a nice piece of grouper to go with this or yes, a nice piece of that. snapper. Mm -hmm. cool. Awesome. Cool. Okay, so what do we do next? All right, so we're going to prepare for our, we're going to prepare for our tropical a tropical, tropical uh, saute spinach. Yes, all oh, my favorite fruit, pineapple. Yeah, so basically we're gonna have some diced pineapples. Okay. And so can we use like a variety of fruits with this or? Yeah, any, any, any tropical fruit would you like, you could, um, apple goes well with it. Okay. Um, you could also put plantain in this too if you want to. Oh, nice. Pasta with cherry tomatoes, we're gonna How slice it right now. Um, you can pass a whole bowl and I'll okay. just slice it up for you. Yeah, right. you want to just slice it right in half. And I chose to use um, the different colors to give it a more of a tropical burst. It's already pretty. Yeah, because you have the red, the purple, uh -huh. the yellow, and then the green from the spinach. Awesome. All right, and that should be good for this. All right. Okay. All right, and so we're just going to let the meat go for another mm -hmm. like two minutes, and then when we come back, we'll be able to. Um, start the saute spinach and then we go straight into our plating all right well this right. dish is pretty easy to make it's pretty quick again you guys we're making a pan seared peppercorn steak with our coconut cassava um that these are looking beautiful so far over here we have um let me just show you our colic rattler onion rings yes indeed. and over there where we just uh cut up some of our um ingredients for our Spinach salt. What are we making? A spinach. Yeah, tropical saute tropical spinach. Tropical saute spinach, you guys. This is Chef It Up. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Chef It Up, everyone. Still in the kitchen with the Bahama Barbie King. Our pan seared peppercorn steak. Peppercorn steak. <laughs> and our coconut cassava is almost done, right? So, where do we go from here? All right. So, now we're going to take our glaze, our citrus Hennessy glaze. Uh huh. Yes, this is the citrus Hennessy glaze that we made earlier. Um, we're going to cook this. Right on, the right on the steak. Okay. And you want to spread it evenly right over it. And get awesome. some of the onions in there too. Awesome. 
And of course, this is the glaze that we made a little earlier by caramelizing down those onions. We put in that Hennessy, of course. What else did we put in here? Some of our... Yeah, the fresh orange juice. Little orange juice. And the jerk barbecue sauce. Yes. So now that we have this glaze, two more minutes in the oven. Yes. Just to let that all sit and... and caramelize down. Right. And so what do we do next? Now we're going to start our tropical spinach. All right. So we're going to use a little olive oil. Mm-hmm. And of course, before the break, what we did was we just chopped up, um, thinly chopped some uh, purple onions. onions, as well as we used some cherry tomatoes and my favorite fruit, pineapple. Oh. All right, so saute that down. Okay, add a little bit of parsley. Okay. Awesome. Now with the onions, you don't have to caramelize them as much mm -hmm. uh, for the for the spinach. You okay. want to have a little crunch factor inside the spinach. I prefer to have like a little crunch factor. Yeah, in it. this is kind of like a salad side almost. Yeah, like a, almost like a hot salad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now you're gonna take our tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Add them in. And our pineapple. Awesome. I love pineapple. There you go. And we're gonna toss that. Mm. Touch the seasoning blend. A little bit of this all purpose seasoning. All purpose. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. We use that in just about every <laughs> dish here today. Let's cook that down. Now, you don't want to cook the tomatoes too much because you still want um, a nice firmness so for the firm. presentation. Uh -huh. So while it's still firm, we're going to add uh, spinach. Okay, now spinach, you and know. you could add all of this because this is going to shrink right down. Yes, so. So I was just going to say spinach shrinks down so quickly. So we just add all that in there. This is a nice, a nice uh, alternative to a salad, you know. You get yeah. your greens and your veggies and your fruits in there. Yeah. It's hot, kind of different. And I love spinach. There we go. And we let that sort awesome. it out for a few. Okay. I love that this right. dish has so many different elements. We have our starch. Here yeah, so from this cassava, cassava, we have some greens over here with our tropical spinach, yeah. and of course our meat um, in the oven. That yeah. should be done, huh? Yeah. So we got actually going to start plating. Awesome. Let me get some stuff out of your way then. Oh, and I All almost right. forgot our um, <laughs> Kalik Rattler, Rattler onion, onion rings. rings. So we got all kind of things going on here in the kitchen. All right. So as we start this dish, we're going to put. Take that off the heat. Okay. Let me so, turn this off? Yes, you can please. Okay. All right, so we're going to put our cassava down first. All right. Look at that. And this is the part that he says he takes most seriously, yeah, this, is the plating and the this presentation. Is where, this is where you put all of your pride as a chef. <laughs> That's true. I like that you said that because a lot of people, you know, they, they think that just because they can cook a good meal and it tastes good, you know. Oh, man. You have to realize... <laughs> The majority of us eat with our eyes, so yeah. it might taste good, but if it doesn't look appetizing, yeah. uh, they're not going to take that chance. So true. And we're going to drizzle a little bit of the coconut milk over it. I'm excited to taste that. Okay. All right. Now we're going to take our spinach blend. Mm. This is off. It's just really hot. <laughs> and that's our... Put that straight on top. Oh, look at that. Our tropical spinach. All right, and then finally we're going to rest our steak on top. What? Oh, so we're just layering. Yeah, layering on some everything. Napoleon presentation. Ah, look at that. So the steak goes straight on top. Goodness, this is like the best steak sandwich ever. <laughs> <laughs> the best. All right, and then we're going to finish it off with our onion rings. Yes. So we got all kind of rum going on here. We got some Kalik Radler, some Hennessy, some coconut rum. So this dish, it's like a weekend dish. <laughs> Please don't eat this the night. We can on a cheat day. Yeah, don't eat this the night before uh, you go to work. There you go. And then we're gonna do a little garnish with our sauce. Awesome. So that's what I call a meal. 
and a touch of the coconut milk on the next side. There you go. Awesome. Now look at that. And there you have it, guys. That is our pan seared peppercorn steak with our Kalik Radler onion rings, our coconut cassava, and our tropical spinach. I got it all right? Yeah, tropical saute spinach. You got it. Tropical saute spinach. Are we done? All right, here's our finished product. Awesome. Uh, Napoleon. And tell everyone what I'm eating while I eat. <laughs> all right, so basically this is a, a Napoleon style presentation to the bottom. We have the coconut cassava. Mm -hmm. On the second layer, we have our tropical infused um, saute spinach. On top of that, we have our, um, our citrus Hennessy glazed steak, the peppercorn pan sear on it, and we have the garnish. We have Kalik Rattler on, on Kalik Rattler onion rings. Mm. And I see what you say about um, that coconut uh, with that cassava. It's really good. Yeah, it blends pretty. It blends pretty nicely. It's a good pairing. My peppercorn steak is good. I see what you say too about the crunch yeah. and not grinding on the peppercorn so much. Mm -hmm. Really good. I love that it's tender. It's not overcooked. Perfect temperature. Now let me just get into these um, Rattler. <laughs> These Rattler onion rings, which I told you, I don't really do onion rings, but why not, eh? These are good. Hey man, these Barbie King onion rings. You know, <laughs> regular onion rings you can find by McDonald's. They, no, I, could do, King I could do this onion <laughs> ring. I could do this for sure. And the Kalik Rattler, it's not too potent. No. But you get hints of yeah, that hint Rattler the end, you know? flavor and mm. smell, actually, mm. as you eat. So. Tell everyone where they can find you. You can find us on Instagram, Bahama Barbie King on Facebook, and you can email us at chefmiller at hotmail.com. And you can find me back in the kitchen next episode. I'm Ian Smith. This has been Chef It Up. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is good.